Good evening, Green Wave sports fans. Welcome to Maury Gymnasium here at Abington High School for tonight's JV action between the Clippers of Norwell and the Abington Green Wave. This is Chris Nagel with Billy Casely and Norm Casely on the camera. Billy, what do you think? Well, the first time out, it was a very good game, but it ended up being a two-point loss, 53-51. to 51. Uh, Norwell took it out in Norwell. But it was kind of unusual because Green Wave only had one big man that game. Uh, Kearns and Toomey are both out with injury, and they didn't have George that day. So Josh Martin was really the only center. I forgot about that. And Toomey's been back playing strong. Johnny Kearns has been having a good year so far. The uh, lead scorer last game was Dennis with 12, and Dennis will be out for another week and a half. So. Well, he's going to miss the Carter tournament. He's going to be right on the edge of the Carter tournament. I think that's what he's trying to make it back for. He's had a uh, back strain. But uh, Evan Fanara had five steals the first time around. He was absolutely killing it defensively. So expect a good game out of him. That was Johnny Kearns with the rebound into Nate Reardon. It's going to be a blocking foul on number four, Jack Dwyer. We'll set the table for you for the... Actually, we can tell you who Norwell is in just a second. As soon as Nate takes his shot. Nate hits the first one. So for the Clippers, we have number two, Jake Oaks. Number four, Jack Dwyer. Number 20 is Nathan Creel. Number 41 is Matt Hilsinger. And number 42 is Mark Sigwart. And for the Green Wave, we have Evan Fanara and Nate Reardon up top. We have Ryan Landers and Johnny Kearns on the wings. And the man in the middle is Josh Martin. Pull up by Jack Dwyer on net. Landers to Fanara. Into Nate Reardon off the window. Nate's been having uh, a good year. He's had plenty of looks, Billy, but he's kind of been cold the last couple games, hitting those early shots. Yeah, he's been cold early, but uh, he ended up with 17, I think, in Mashby. So he ended up coming up big in the second half. It's going to be Greenway foul, I believe, on Fanara. But Nate's had consistent effort all year. He's always high speed, high impact. But I uh, just can't always quite finish at the same rate. That's Jack Oaks misses the first one. And the second, Ryan Landers fighting his way for the rebound. Geez, we're a minute 30 into it, and we already got four fouls, Billy. They're taking everything <laughs> right to the tee from last night's board meeting, the referee meeting. Although I haven't seen a play of control foul yet. Not yet, but <laughs> we're only a minute and a half into it. I know, it's going to come. Green Wave tie the game at 4-4. Oaks with it. Johnny Kearns forced that steal. At least that's how I saw it, Billy. Yeah, it's interesting. They kind of switched Nate and Kearns. It used to be that Nate was the two and Johnny was the four, and they kind of re reversed that. Wow, Josh Martin just got all the way down. What a lead. rebound. He's got to go back up with two hands, but yep. good board. Tried to put it off the window, nothing was there. Dwyer with it in the corner to Hillsinger. Fanara stole it. Ah, kind of dribbled it off his foot. Norwell JV coach Rob Leary helped save Fanara from diving headfirst into the bleachers. Jack Oaks with it. Can't. Johnny, another tip. Looks like he jumped a little bit too early. Yep. Hillsinger. Dwyer. Nothing. Martin, another rebound. Nate right down the center. Well, that's three times they've laid up, put in layups that have been so strong. 
That's how the first game started too. In Noel, they had so many looks at the rim that just didn't want to go. It seemed like everything was rimming out. Evan Fanara at the five minute mark in the first period. I think too strong. Oaks with it. Fanara, good D. They're looking to isolate. Fanara, Oaks on Fanara. Fanara had none of that. Bilsinger to Oaks. Evan picking up two quick ones here. Dave Lyons flips off his warm up jersey. Oaks hits the first. Dave Lyons replaces Fanara. It's the second. Wow. That's an illegal substitution. The ball was already in bounds and there was no one at the table. They let it happen. Yeah, the rest of my buddies, so I'm not going to criticize yeah. too much. Lions, good follow. Dwyer. Sigwart with the rebound, lost it. Green ball. There's a lot of familiarity between these two teams, obviously. Uh, Noel knows all of our plays, we know all their plays, so. Dangerous pass right there. Yeah, that was all the way across the court. Johnny Kearns for three. At the back of the rim. Sigward with the rebound. Kearns has really developed a nice jump shot over the uh, summer. I don't think he took any jumpers last year. Everything was at the rim for him, but this year he's been hitting the... Uh, the mid-range and a couple threes. Paul Sagan, number 10, checked in the game. I didn't see him check in, Billy. That was that substitution. Travel on Josh, didn't even question it. He just took off. 33, Max Walls checking in for Jack Oaks. Hill Singer. Wow, lower in the boom there. Dwyer right-handed hook. Lions to Nate. Wow, Dwyer just intercepted that. That was gonna be on Cairns. Johnny's first, team's fourth. Matt Hilsinger, in and out. Martin with the rebound. They took off before he caught the ball. I think he jibbled off his foot right there. Did he? I, think he, I thought he just turned around and lost control off his leg. Donnell Leon and Andrew Johnson check in. I think that was Nate that came out. Nate and Josh Martin came out. Walls, here comes Sagan. That's a jump ball before it's a foul. They're gonna call a foul on Dave. I thought if anything, it was gonna be an over a back on the, lay on the rebound. That's what they got it on. They got Dave on that. He was holding on. To, I thought he had the ball. Hillsinger. Dwyer. Seems to have the hot hand for the Clippers, Billy. Hillsinger lefty short. Dwyer. 
Dave Lyons right here in front of us, picked by Donnell Leon. Dave leaves it for Ryan Landers, a little long. Two quick fouls on Dave Lyons. 44, Josh Fortin checks in for the Clippers for Hillsinger. Nope, that was Sig Watt. That's Hillsinger with it to Sagan to Dwyer. Three-pointer. Johnson to Lyons. To Johnson. Walsh took away the sideline. Johnny pull up in the lane. Wow, Ryan Landers got that behind him. Another one on Dave. Wow. I'm going to check in for him. Dave, 3,000 about a minute. Yeah, if that. 17 fouls. <laughs> Abington had the ball on the foul occurred, so yeah. it shouldn't be a shooting foul. Yeah. Should not be a one on one, it should be a spot foul. Yeah, it should be over here. Well, coach agreeing with Pete. Yeah. For those of you watching at home, that was a team control foul. I don't even know if Dave had the ball, did he? Dave did, and I think Andrew had it out here, and Dave fouled in the paint. Yeah. You don't shoot on. Glavin. Some fouls. Landers with a rebound. Glavin to Kearns. Fortin picked him right up. Leon. Johnny Kearns for two. Dwyer to Walls. Oh, how did Fortin that had back door. And his own rebound, and another one. Glavin to Landers. Andrew for three. That was a little bit left. A little bit. Did that warm up still. I think he was uh, too lonely out there by himself. <laughs> Here comes Walls to the paint, Sagan to Dwyer. Baseline, Fort and Jesus, 30 walk. Fifteen eight, Clippers. Six seconds to go in the first quarter. Andrew is taken out. Oh no. There's a play control. Yep. Pete doesn't agree. Nope, Pete just asking for clarification. That's what that would be, Billy. That's the end of one, 15 to eight, the Clippers. I think right there the problem was Andrew kind of had his shoulder down, was a little out of control yep. coming down the lane. But we're gonna take a break. We're so gonna we take a timeout for technical difficulties. Yep. <laughs> okay, we're back to start the second quarter. Evan Fanara back in for the Green Wave. This should be a whole different look for the Green Wave. Toomey's the biggest kid on the floor by yep. about four inches and 50 pounds. 50, yeah. Fanara to Toomey. Toomey squeezing it to Nate Sagan, forearm and Nate. You can't deny him the opportunity to go to the hoop. Fortin. Hillsinger, the lefty, drains it for three. Eight point Clipper lead still, 18 to 10. Bernard and Josh Ridden. 
Another play of control. That was a good play. I saw that all the way. Josh tried to hold up and just plowed right through him. And sure. he had, I think it was Tyler and Nate on the back side wide Nate. open. Yeah, Nate just standing on the block. Wow, Sagan, what a move. Toomey says, how's it going to Sagan? He was clean initially, but he brought that right arm down. Yep. For all of you that are watching, if you get the, if we get this on the air in time, next Wednesday is senior night for the Green Wave. Uh, for the Green Wave boys, it'll be senior night for uh, Vin Picotti, Ryan Mariano, and Alex Nagel for three tri-captains as they finish their home career here, regular season. And for the girls, the Lady Wave, Sammy Thompson, the only senior. Senior night will be this Sunday against uh, Mashpee. Coach Serena. He's saying someone at the ball. Yeah, he's saying White hit the ball. That was right in front of the coach, and the coach is not saying anything. Tyler. Tyler with those away. long arms. Saves it. Sagan. Walls to Dwyer. Leaves it to Sagan. Travel. Going baseline. Wow. Another one. Same guy three times. Look at him, he's even smiling. Fortin, Josh Fortin. He used to be a uh, creamsicle back in the day. But he used to award him for every time he took a charge. Really? Yep. Toomey got a hand in there. Oaks is checking back in for Sagan. And number 20, Nathan Creel for Dwyer. Walls to Hilsinger. Creel missed that layup for the Clippers. It's going to be a foul on Hilsinger, I think. 41. Nope, it's going to be on Oaks. Josh Reardon to inbound. Ah. To me. It's going to jam for it. for the layup. <laughs> We wave down 11, 21 to 10. Can't seem to get on track, Billy. They, I think they were leading at one point, but Clippers are just stoning the, the green wave. Panara for three. Fortin with the rebound to Oaks, tipped all over the place. Walls to Sigwart. Off the glass. No help, weak side. Seems like everyone right now for the green wave is just late. On offense and defense. Tyler Mariano to Evan Fanara. Nate. Travel. It's gonna be a block. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I said that out loud. I was listening to the coach screaming that. <laughs> Subs all over the plates. Nate and Evan Fanara. Nate Reardon and Evan Fanara out. Josh Martin and Johnny Kearns checked in. That's a nice lead for Toomey. I like that play. How did Oaks get by on the sideline there, Billy? 
I don't know, Tommy was just a little bit late, and he kind of had his arm out instead of just getting his foot over. Wow, I, th I didn't think there was enough room for him to get by. Not only did he run by, but he dribbled by. That was Nathan Creel with the shot, not there. Sigwart with the tip of the loose ball, out of bounds. Going to be green underneath. Noel had three guys back in a split second to take away the two-man break. Green 22. 32, I think he said. Called it on two, me. Josh went to the floor. One on one. Who's shooting? <laughs> I, I did hear that, Norm. Yeah. They must, well, I bet they've called 20 fouls so far. It's a good thing Pete's paying attention. Them, 16 of them are on Abington. Oaks to Walls. Oaks trying to get open. Wow. I think it was one second on the shot clock. 25 to 12, everything falling for Norwell right now. Tyler for Josh Reardon. Toomey just got double teamed. Ooh. You gotta say that's off Toomey's leg. I don't know if I agree. I couldn't see it from here. On those plays, I give the benefit of the doubt to the official who's less than three feet away. <laughs> Like I said, that guy is my buddy, so he knows yeah. what he's doing. He's probably right. 25 to 12, Clippers lead by 13, 414 to go on the half. What was the score at the first, the end of the first? I think it was 15 to 8. I'm not 100 percent sure on that though. Not a lot of scoring going on here it's for the Green Wave. Very slow start. Very anemic. Let's put it that way. And again, the first game was tightly contested the whole way through. It was 26-25 at the half. Green Wave was up by one. Nate Reardon's got six points. Karen says two, Lions two, and Toomey's got two. Josh Martin, five rebounds. Steve Lyons got three fouls in about 30 seconds. I know, it was crazy. He won't be back in until the uh, probably mid-third period. He does play hard and he plays aggressive, but. He's got a little bit of a uh, Sumner in him. Yep. A lot of times when you're a smaller player, you can get away with a little extra contact, but. Ref's not allowing it tonight. Oaks with it. Josh Reardon right on him. Hillsinger. Kernsey with the intercept. Tyler makes his own space off the window. Nothing. Oaks. Wow. Martin with the rebound. Josh Reardon, two white shirts on him. Oh, what a, a look. great look. What a look to Tyler Mariano. Josh Reardon not even looking. Josh and Tyler have done a great job all year of running the break together. Josh Martin. Oh. oh. Thought he had it. Tried to tip it to himself. Hilsinger, short. Josh Reardon with the rebound. Toomey's got number four pushing him out of the paint. Yeah, the whole time. Jack Dwyer. Kearns, Josh Martin. Eight on the shot clock. Toomey. Toomey, nice take. move. Sig Ward in for Sagan.
through me. Green Wave cut the lead to nine, 25 to 16. Two and a half to go in the first half. Toomey with an interception. Kearns comes away with it. Toomey working on Dwyer, left-handed off the window. Roberts too big to hold out of there. Green Wave cut the lead down to seven. I don't know what it was a minute ago. It was like 25 to 12, wasn't it? I think they were down, yeah, they are down 11, I think. Green Wave making their own run here. I love it, Rob Toomey, he's got six now. Josh Reardon, three assists. And it was funny, on the last inbounds, you could hear the uh, Noel coach yelling out the play and his play is just, couldn't adjust in time. Toomey was too big. He said he's a he's at least six inches taller than Sigwart. No, 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 not Sigwart, Dwyer. And like you said earlier, Billy, he's 50 pounds heavier than their biggest guy. He should be making his space. And yeah, it's 50 pounds of muscle. It's not a yeah, exactly. He's not soft. It's not a wasted 50 pounds. No. <laughs> Two twelve to go in the first half. Green Wave down 25 to 18. Team fouls. Uh, Green Wave have about 30. No. Something like that. And the Clippers have four. I think they have the same problem in Norwell. Pilsinger. Oaks. Dwyer back to Oaks. Dwyer for three, short. White shirts all around it. Nice Toomey. job, Toomey. Creel to Hillsinger. Lefty baseline. Josh. Baseline couldn't make it go. Looking for a collie move there. Yeah, that was a good baseline take. Yeah, Just I couldn't it. get the finish. Woo. Two in a row for Hillsinger. As a rule of thumb, if they play for Norwell, they can shoot threes. Yep. That's all their practice is, is they just chuck three pointers for two hours. That was a bad pass. Yep. That's not the right pass on a 1 3 1 zone. You got to recognize that. Karen's got a little anxious, wanted to make something happen. Oaks to Dwyer, back to Oaks. Dwyer open for three, set shot short. 48 seconds left, Green Wave down 12. Andrew Johnson feels a little better. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the only one there, blow a three-pointer now. Except Dwyer's was three feet short. Nate Reardon to Johnny Kearns, looking for space. Score the bucket foul on Dwyer. Dwyer doesn't seem like he agrees. No, he does not. He had that quizzical look on his face, Billy. Sagan in for Creel. That was Dwyer's second foul. Johnny Kearns missed. Wow, Toomey. Toomey from the second spot. He's That's got eight. Foul on Nate Reardon. I don't know how to call that one. I, Nate just plowed over the Norwell guy. Nate's third foul. That's a tough foul for him. That's just good aggressive defense. And Sagan has two shots. Glavin checks in for Reardon, and Fortin checks in for Dwyer. And the worst part of that foul is you just had a four-point swing with Cairns taking the good layup, getting the foul, and Toomey getting the rebound. 
He had a lot of momentum going, and then he got a dead ball, and yep. Noel gets free throws. That was a dangerous look to Toomey off the window. What a great shot. Toomey's Set. got 10. He can't be stopped right now. 31-24, Clippers. It's a kick ball. They missed it. Tyler comes away with it. Five seconds. Tyler, great pass to Glavin, hits it. Five-point lead for the Clippers. That'll end it. That will end. Everyone fired up on the Abington bench. You're going into halftime, halftime down to five, but you were down 12 we're two down seconds 12. ago. And Leary is out on the court challenging the call, and it's not happening. Well, he wanted to travel or double dribble on Tyler. I think what he should have wanted was the kick on Josh Ridd. Well, the kick is what he missed for sure. Well, either way, great play by Tyler. Just behind the back a bunch of times, did a couple spins and hits Glavin for an easy two. Before that, Toomey just cleaning up underneath. He's got 10 points off of four assists from Josh Reed. And Tyler's also got two assists. Josh Martin's got six rebounds. He leads the team. Uh, Nate Reardon with six points, but he also has three fouls. And Johnny Kearns with four. And it was a good way to finish the half, but the first 10 minutes weren't very pretty. It was ugly. Abington just came out flat. Nothing was falling. They had a bunch of player control fouls go against them. but. So, Billy, question. I'm watching Leary work the coach, the, the uh, referees there. Leary, the JV coach for the Clippers. First, he took the ball away, the basketball away from the official. Then, he didn't give it back to him, and he was just getting in their ear. He knows they're not going to change their call, but he's talking to them for a good minute about that, basically letting them know he's disgusted with them. Then he walks towards the he walks towards the locker room and throws the ball behind his back towards the scorer's table instead of giving it back to the official. And then says, Don't worry about it, we'll just keep playing anyway. I think that could have been technical in there somewhere. Something there, yeah. Just saying. Alright, let's take a break, Norm. We'll come back to start the second half. Welcome back, Green Wave Sports fans, to the second half of this JV action. While Billy mows down that piece of pizza that he got for himself. This is Chris Nagel with Billy Casely and Norm Casely. Oh, wait, it was Norm that got the pieces of pizza. I got you. Oh, when you sprint Chris away who? right at halftime. Chris so who? I, mean. I got you. Green Wave down five, 31-26. Loose ball, Norwell came away with it. Oaks with it, Kernsey with the rebound to Nate Reardon. Ryan Landers, that's a great pass by Nate. Green Wave went on a big run to start to end the second half. I mean, to end the first half. We're in the second half. I don't want to interrupt you while you're eating your piece of pizza. Sigwart, short, that's a good look, just missed it. Kansas Landers. has got five rebounds now. Fanaro with it. Fanaro, that's a kick! That's he a lot he of advanced kicks right it. Now. Josh going up through 41 right there. I'm Pretty telling good call. if that ball didn't come back to Fanaro's hands, I think Pete might have opened the top of his head. Hilsinger, lefty. Johnny Kearns coming away with it, leaves it for Fanara. Still 31 26, six and a half to go in the third quarter. Abington bench on their feet. Waiting for the first bucket. Evan, nice baseline runner. Hits it. Dwyer. Here's Creel. Back to Oaks. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Hillsinger with the rebound. Using a pile of three That's a green nice shirts. look to Dwyer. Dwyer just got clotheslined. He got hit right in the eye. 
I think Josh Martin got him. That's his first. Rob doing well inside the coach's box. Hmm. Another point of interest last night. Josh Ridden in for Nate Ridden. That's why he hits the second. Four point clipper lead. Oh, turnover. Oaks with it. Sigward, that's great defense by Ryan Landers. Creel, long. Hilsinger's got some long arms, Billy. How long his arms are. I don't want your pizza to get cold. Feel free to finish that whenever you want. <laughs> Josh Martin takes it strong. Score the basket. Going to be a blocking foul on Nathan Creel, number 20. Thought about calling that challenge. I know. Too. I thought he was going to put his hand behind his head. Martin's first points. They said last night at the referee meeting, you ref in the defensive standpoint. If the defense doesn't do anything wrong, you have to call it a play of control. What's that, Norm? Yeah, well, I don't know. Josh, great hustle. Josh Reardon. Here comes Evan Fanara down the left. Well, Dwyer just picked his pocket. Sigwart flops. Can't stand flopping, Billy. It's by far my biggest pet peeve. You can call it technical if there's yeah. excessive flopping. We had that discussion last night. I didn't know that until I think it was Coughlin told us. Yeah. Landers, Sigward right up on him. Johnny Kearns. It's going to be a foul on Creel. Leary's still way out of the coach's box. He's six feet out of the coach's box. Coach's box is 14 feet long. Start from the baseline, walk up 28 feet. Oh, what Kearns. a pass, Johnny Kearns. Josh Reardon with a great pass. Reardon now five assists. Kearns is six points. Pete's smiling. Dwyer was wide open on the block. Josh letting him know about yeah. that. Yeah. Can't blame him. I think Josh had a point there. It's the first time I've seen Josh. Josh. Out here. Oh. oh, had a hand on it. <laughs> Max Walls checking in. Creel coming out, walking out, just getting. Hillsinger. Oh. That is, that's more incidental than that's anything, what I was isn't thinking. it? Josh making a play for the ball. I don't believe that call is, you know. Oh, Walls just lost a handle. Johnny Kearns to Josh Reed and a little too far forward. Josh taking it on Walls off the window. Puts the green wave up two. That's their first lead since the first period, I think, Billy. Yep. Well, quarter, I think, Norm, right? Oaks. Wow, he threw it a mile up there. Josh Reardon to Fanara, Dwyer chasing him. Left it for Josh Reardon. What a pass. Dwyer had no idea what happened to the ball. He went up to block it, and it was gone. Green wave up four, 36-32. It's been a great quarter for Abington there. That's they've been, what they've been waiting for. They were down by as much as 12 in the first half. Hilsinger short. Kernsey with the rebound. 
Eight rebounds now for Kearns. Clippers have one point this quarter. Panara for three. Hits it! Green Wave now up seven, 240 to go in the third. Dwyer trying to get in the middle. Knifed his way in, got nothing. Josh Martin with the rebound. Landers. Walls actually made a move into the offensive player. Clippers going deep in their bench. 55, John Mayer. Number 10, Paul Sagan. Martin. Johnny Kearns. Oh, good block right there by Dwyer. That was a great block. Nice look to Josh Reardon. Kearns for three. Hillsinger with the rebound. Max Walls now on the right. Dwyer taking the baseline. Just ran all the way to the other side of the court. Mayor, what a great block by Josh Martin. Josh Reardon. Oh, how did they leave Landers all alone? Gonna be timeout white. The Clippers who had a smothering defense in the first half came out with lead sneakers, Billy. 15 to one wow. so far this quarter. Josh Reardon has seven assists. Johnny Kynes, nine rebounds. Martin, eight rebounds, one block. Uh, Toomey leads the game with 10 points. Cairns has six. Martin has four. Reardon has six. Benar has got five. He had a nice three in the corner. Uh, then you got Glavin, Lyons, Mariano, and Josh Reardon all with two. Benar not known for taking those threes either, Billy. He's taken He's a couple in the last few games. Yeah. But uh, really to start the year, I don't think he took any jump shots. He's a great distributor, but didn't really look for his own shot. Exactly. And I think Pete's kind of giving the go-ahead to shoot it. Put it up when he's got the look. If it's there, take it. Green Wave up 41-32, 128 to go in the third quarter. Again, as Billy said, great quarter, 15 to one run. Just great team defense and team offense. Mr. Right Ryan now in the team. house, VIP status. Sagan for the Clippers. Dwyer, baseline. Boy, he can't hit anything. This period, he hasn't hit anything, Billy Dwyer. Yeah, he, he was, was hitting jump shots. He was hitting everything in the first great half. In first half. He's getting the looks. They're just not going in. Hilsinger. I don't recognize number 34. That's Lucas Ahrens. Dwyer, Mayer. Travel. Rob Leary has yet to <laughs> like a call. He likes all the calls against the Green Wave, none against the Clippers. That's generally how it goes. <laughs> Every time you blow the whistle, half the gym hates it, half the gym loves That's it. That's it. Josh Martin. Land is open, set shot, long. Maybe a foul on Josh. That's actually not a bad foul on Josh. I didn't mind that. Got him with the body. Yeah, it's a good gamble. Didn't yep. pay off. Sagan for the Clippers. 31 seconds to go in the third quarter. Aaron's nothing. Josh, Josh just cleared out. 
Josh Ridd now. They have last shot, 17 seconds. Landers with Dwyer on him. Five seconds. Fanara for three. A little long. Josh Martin Josh, right there. Josh Reardon with the three. Just a little left. That's going to end the third. 41-32. Green wave. That's a much better quarter, Billy. After closing it out to how, what were they down in the first? In the, uh, They're down five at the half. Wow. They're down seven at the first quarter. It's a 12-point swing. And you just allowed one point in eight minutes. Really? That's great defense. Let's take a quick break, Norm. We'll come right back. All right, we're back to start the fourth quarter. Green Wave up nine, 41 32. Clippers scored one point in the third, as Billy said. Chris Nagel, Billy Casely, Norm Casely on the camera. Toomey back in the game. Toomey just brings that presence, doesn't he? Nate Reardon to Glavin. Nate, oh, nice leave to Tyler. Up and under, gets fouled. Tyler made that a lot fancier than it had to be. They're going to call a travel on him, oh. actually. I thought he had the left-handed layup. He had an easy left-handed layup, and he tried to go up and under yep. and do a little. Dwyer pushing off. Creel, way short. He knew it when he shot it. He was the first one in the paint. Nate Reardon to Tyler Mariano. Donnell Leon. What a pass to Nate Reardon. Donnell, nice bounce pass in the lane. Sagan stolen by Glavin. What did they call there? Carry. Ooh. Challenge flag, Billy. Fortin are going to check back in now for the Clippers. That was Keith Gill with the call. One of my favorite refs at the uh, Hingham League, so I'm going to agree with him. I wasn't paying enough attention to challenge that. Hilsinger, the three. They just tripled their offensive production this half with that one shot. <laughs> Glavin to Nate Reardon. Wow, oh, what a look. Now. What a look is right. Robert just bounced it off his sneaker. I think Toomey is already ready for the rebound. Yeah, he's expect Donnell to go straight up. I agree. Caught him off guard. Donnell was significantly under the backboard. Hilsinger, Fortin to Dwyer. Pull up. Long. Nate to Glavin. Having some happy feet. Yep. I think he was running when he caught the ball. So Leary complains when he doesn't get that call, but then when he does, he doesn't have anything nice to say. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Need some positive reinforcement here. Sean Dwyer had a, uh, I mean, uh, Sean Dwyer. Sean Riley. Tyler, good hustle. Tombstone, nice leave to Nate Reardon. He made Hilsinger commit to Toomey, and Hilsinger was quaking. Toomey just dumped it off to Nate Reardon. Green wave up 10. Hilsinger for three. Again with three. A big guy can hit it from out there. That was an off-balance shot, too. Tyler right in his face. Tyler, Hilsinger just riding him. Tyler. Nice little flop, flop there. Toomey two more. Nice flop by Fortin. We have no room for flopping. Tyler weighs 100 pounds soaking wet. I don't think he can knock you down that quickly. Yeah. Hilsing again for three. Long. Toomey. Toomey and Fortin mixed it up. Tyler, what a look. Blocked by Dwyer. Dwyer. On that play, Dwyer was out of bounds when he jumped up to catch it. So he had already established position out of bounds when he touched the ball in the air. Out of bounds, so. Technically, is called out of bounds. How's that, Billy? Good By assessment. rule, as John Carroll says. Donnell 
on Fortin Donnell with a runner, he hits it. Green Wave up 11, 49, 38, five minutes to go in the game. I don't think they're ready for how high Donnell can jump right there. I couldn't agree with you more. Dwyer, Oaks, Fortin, baseline. You saw Toomey and said, I don't think so. Oaks just threw up a brick. Clippers just look totally harried in this period, Bill, in this uh, half. Not smooth compared to how they were in the first. Donnell, pull up. Off the window, go. hits it. Donnell's got four. 13 point lead, 4.30 to go. Donnell's taking great strides this year. Greatly improved since the first game. He's got some athletic ability. I think Sigwalt was already falling down when Brendan had his hand. I'd, I like, I I like Levin at the ball, if anything. Sagan, short. Sigwalt came away with it to Dwyer. On Br Derek Hall, oh, jump ball, that's a good call. Donnell continuing to do, good, to do a good job, mixing it up underneath. Aaron's nice up and under, but way off balance. Foul on Donnell. Four oh four to go in the game. Green wave up. Fifty one thirty eight. Fortin. That, I don't even think that hit anything. Brendan Glavin. Is that a kick? I don't think it was intentional. He kind of threw it into his feet. He timeout time out green. As long as he didn't make a make an attempt to at the ball with his foot. I don't know. I think we have a record for the most air balls in a single game. <laughs> Andrew Johnson started off with that <laughs> shot three feet to the left of the rim. And then Reardon had one to end the half. Got a couple on Norwell. At least two on Norwell. Green wave up 51-38. 16 fouls on the green wave. Three fouls, 13 fouls on the Clippers. And the presence of Robert Toomey in the middle. Clippers are going to have nightmares about him. Absolutely. He's just too big and too strong. The best thing about Robert is he's also the nicest kid on the floor. Yep. Every time someone goes down, he helps him up. And he says sorry if he hits him too hard. <laughs> he's got 12 on the night. He leads the team. Nate Reardon's got 10 in limited action. He's been in foul trouble. And uh, Nate's got three, right? Yep. Cairns has six, Martin four, Fanara five. Leon's got four, and you got twos all over the place. Josh Martin, ten boards. Johnny Cairns, nine boards. For the green wave, we have Derek Hall, Brendan Glavin up top, uh, Tyler Mariano, and Donnell Leon looks like on the wing, and Robert Toomey. Oh. They drew that play up for Don Donnell. That was there. Yep. Little, threw it a little too much of a line drive. Forced him to dance on the baseline. That's a really hard pass to make, too. <laughs> That's a, there's nine bodies to throw it around. That's Nathan Creel for three. Cuts the, uh, the green, wow, oh, great what a pass. look. That can't be a travel right he didn't there. Have he did not have possession. I think that was a fumble. Leary at half court. Creel. That's travel on Aaron's. Wow, that's the third time Aaron just thrown that ball. It's gonna be green ball. You saw Toomey right there and just wanted to get rid of it. Hey, just an observation, Billy, that I've just noticed. Donnell! Oh, oh, great take. What a take. 
And another flop. Gonna be a flop on Creel and he gets called for it. Billy, just an observation. Here we are at home and the Green Wave are in their road greens. What's that up with that? That's a very good point. I just noticed that. I don't know, maybe Norwell had a laundromat malfunction. Yeah. That's curious, huh? Aaron's for three, long. Creel with the rebound, Green Wave up 13, under three minutes to go. Creel, Derek Hall right on him. Turnover White, green ball. Dave Lyons checking back in for Brendan Glavin. Lyons picked up three fouls in three seconds. <laughs> Tyler finds space to Dave Lyons. Derek Hall wide open. Dwyer. 2.30 to go. Hilsinger, the three again, in and out. Three white shirts and Toomey and Dave Lyons were the only greens. Creel with the rebound to Hilsinger. Dwyer for three, hits it. Well, you gave him three looks at it, they yeah. got it eventually. Took 25 seconds off the shot clock. Off the game clock, I should say. Tyler to Derek Hall. Tyler to Big Robert. Sigward on him. Donnell. Got to protect that. Derek Hall. Nice take. Blocked by Dwyer. Aarons. Dave Lyons. Going to be timeout. White. 54-46, Norwell not wow. going away. They just ran off four quick ones. 137 to go, as Billy said, 54-46. Green Wave have 16 fouls, and the Clippers have four. Next foul on the Green Wave is the bonus. That's going to certainly play into Leary's, Rob Leary's uh, bag of arsenal, or whatever we're going to call it. To get, the ball, there. Well, to get the ball, to get the ball back, they have three fouls to waste, or two fouls to waste for the bonus. I was struggling with my words there, Billy. That's what I was saying, because they haven't have any sustenance to get me through it. You guys are all fueled up with your pizza. I got nothing. You didn't bring any skittles today? <laughs> no, because when I showed up here, there was, the snack shack wasn't open. So it's going to be Abington ball on the baseline. They can run the baseline. It was a made basket for the Green Wave. It's Dave Lyons, Derek Hall, Tyler Mariano, Donnell Leon, who's got six points this period, doesn't he, Billy? Yep. And big Robert Toomey. Seven, actually, for Donnell. Got the N1. Twenty holding on the yeah, Dallas shirt. Yeah, he had him coming through the middle. That's a good way to slow him down. That's a Rockland tactic. Probably caught it on 33. Really? Maybe he had Dave's shirt. I don't know. Pick play. Tyler with it. Hilsinger on him, pushing him. Tyler, what a look to Donnell. Donnell oh, gets no. pounded. Donnell has two. Didn't they just have, oh no, that was, they just picked up two quick fouls in what, thir three seconds or something? Donnell long with the first. Hits the second. Andrew Johnson gonna check in for Donnell. Donnell, sorry Billy. He's got eight points now, he had a great game. Travel. Got blinded by the brightness of Andrew's <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I think I might agree with that, Billy. 
Certainly wasn't intimidated by him, so it must have been the shoes. <laughs> Creel right up on Tyler. Down to 120 to go in the game. Green wave up 55-46. Big Robert with the ball. Andrew. Oh, hand check first. Really pushed him off the ball. Pushed him off the spot, I should say. Dwyer for three. Another air. air. Added to the tour. Dave Lyons coming right up the middle. Creel was on him. Tyler Walls looking at him. Dave Lyons, nice pick for Tyler. Tyler gets his own rebound. 50 seconds to go. Going to be timeout green. Great hustle by Tyler. Just, and the smarts to dribble it back out. He just did a figure eight through the defense and got his own. Riley having fun over there with the audio system. He's got to be playing with toys, doesn't he? He's got to be playing. Five forty-six. Abington with a nine-point lead. It's Fifty seconds to go. Pete playing with his whiteboard. Drawing up the play. I didn't hear the horn though. There it is. Green Wave come out with Johnny Kearns, Donnell Leon, Derek Hall, Andrew Johnson, and Dave Lyons. Dwyer out of bounds. Pete wants to run the same play. He spent all the time drawing it up. He wants it to work. Oh, Hilsinger with the steal. 40 seconds to go. Walls to Dwyer. In and out, Donnell with the rebound to Dave Lyons. Andrew went right through his hands. Creel, Andrew stole it. Twenty-six point six seconds left to go. Creel got away with grabbing Andrew's shoe right yeah. there on the floor. Andrew went face first down to the ground. Not the most graceful kid, but he usually can keep his feet. Creel, long. There's another one for you, Billy. Johnny Kearns. Wow, Dave Lyons just didn't fall down. Why? Derek Hall just waved at him on the way by. Ten seconds ago. Hill singer. To Creel. That was gross, too. Wow, that's a good win for the Green Wave, Billy. After being down. What were they down? It was... 12, 13 points at one point in the game. Yeah, in that second quarter, I think they were down 13. And then Toomey showed up and dropped 12 on them. Don Hill with eight, that might be a season high for him. Uh, Nate Reardon with 10, Kern six, Fanara five. Riley is scaring me with that audio. I know. Green, Green Wave turned it around in the third quarter. They allowed one point for the Clippers, JV. Josh Reardon had seven assists. He was doing a great job distributing the ball. Tyler had three assists. And you had Josh Martin and Johnny Cairns, both huge on the board. Josh had 10 rebounds. Cairns had nine. Uh, just great defense all the way around, especially in that second half, like you were saying. One point in the third quarter, that's phenomenal. Well done. Well done. Congratulations to Coach Serino and the Green Wave JV. That's a, I got nothing else, Billy. How about you? That's all I got. Norm? Norm's all set, too. So for Norm Casey and Billy Casey, this is Chris Nagel saying thanks for watching. Congratulations, Green Wave JV.